Okay, we are given this. We are asked find the measure of A given the diagram. Oh, okay. With our wasting time, A is A that we are looking for is equal to 180 minus the sum of these angles given which is 20 plus 5 divided by 2. So our angle D is 70, so 110, 110 over 2 is 55. So the answer is B. So whenever you have a cyclic quadrilateral, whenever you have a cyclic quadrilateral that extends to form a triangle, the angle here and here, if you want to get the common, you know, we have triangle AED and triangle AGF. That common angle is just 180 degrees minus the sum of the angles here over 2. Okay, to verify that, see this diagram. Okay, look at it. Okay. If you notice this diagram is the, says, is the same as the previous one so i'm going to use two theorems here the cyclic quadrilateral as theorems in cyclic quadrilateral and triangle theorems if you look at a triangle a e d that this angle that's the exterior angle here is the same as the sum of this so this a plus a by exterior angle theorem and also from exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral if here is a here is also a so we form a triangle and we know that the sum of angles is one a so i'm saying that first thing that angle angle h or or maybe angle E D G is A plus E exterior angle theorem. So that's the first thing and angle this so angle D H G is A exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral therefore if you sum the, the angles a plus a plus a plus d will give us 1 8 why angle sum theory for triangle triangle therefore which implies that uh, a plus a is 2a e plus d so we have making a the subject of formula that is 2a equals 180 minus e plus d so moving this to the other side finally a is 180 minus e over two. So that's that's how I got the answer. So twenty fifty.